Hi, I'm Sandy Draper. Today I'm going to show you how to work with a wire jig. If you've never heard of them before, they're um, little systems like with a peg tray and pegs of various sizes. If you um, go online, you can search for wire jig or thingamajig. The best ones have little plastic sleeves that fit over the back side of the peg and that holds it tight in place so it doesn't wiggle when you're working with it. So let's get started. The advantage to working with the wire jig is that you get a consistent shape because your pins are the same size. Unlike if you're working with uh, needle nose pliers to make loops, maybe you'll grab it at this point at some point, and it'll be a small loop, or you grab it down here, it'll be a big loop. When you're working with a wire jig, you get consistency. So I'm going to show you how to make something called a yoke. I'm taking a piece of wire and I'm going to wrap it around my first peg. I'm doing this upside down so bear with me. And around my second peg. And you can use your fingers or you could use a tool to keep your wire tight against the peg, peg boards, and this is a series of five little loops. Once again, I'm going to use my tool to press the wire down against the metal pegs. And my fifth loop. Now, when you remove this from the jig, of course you trim off the excess wire here and here, but what you would have would be just a little wire finding that you could attach beads to, or you could use to um, attach a big pendant at the bottom loop, and then attach the rest of your necklace to these top two loops. Another thing you could make is a heart. You would use the two large pegs here, a smaller peg in between them, and then a single peg at the bottom, which forms the bottom of the heart. And I made a heart using that, and then I attached some beads to it at the top and the bottom. And then I took a strand of crystals and ran them across the center. Another shape I've used is what I call a line of loops, <laughs> which comes from running your wire around pegs like this in a row, and then when you pull it off, you have a little line of loops, and you can make eye loops at either end and attach it into a necklace pendant. This is called a snake pattern, and it's made by zigzagging your wire back and forth between these pegs, and I've used it in a necklace to hold the focal pendant. Most jigs come with pattern sheets to give you suggested ideas. Once you've worked with the wire jig for a while, the only thing that will limit you is your own imagination. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.